on the screen you can see switching mode adopter the output it is a 9 volt adopter and nowadays most of the adopters are switching mode adopters probably there is a better way to do it but uh, there were no screws so I just decided to cut it open Uh, you will see in this video that not all adopters are uh, worth repairing I will tell you the reason why for instance in this adopter there is a small IC and if you look up the specification of that IC uh, that it acts a as a switching transistor and there is a no uh, not m many components inside this adapter and the IC uh, does the switching and the manufacturer should have put a, a heat sink on this IC because obviously the switching, devi uh, switching device which usually is a transistor that it gets uh, it heats up this type of design not good for the components that are uh, heat, heat up because there is no ventilation no airflow as soon as I opened this adapter I could see a part on the PCB board which the color of that board was changed the color because of the heat finally removed it sometimes they are quite hard to take apart if you look at the IC the area where is the main where the main IC is you can clearly see the the PCB board the circuit board has changed color and there are actually no optocobbler or any uh, circuit uh, other than just few diodes capacitors and then, then there is this uh, IC the IC actually the top of the IC this is half a, of the half the IC it just split into two pieces I have actually opened uh, two of these adapters and in the first one the IC didn't the chip didn't uh, split into two halves but you can see clearly see that it is also burned or because of overheating and it is quite easy to uh, check it with a multimeter the if you look at uh, look at the data sheet of this uh, chip you can see it acts a, as a, a switching transistor for this kind of adapter I don't think it is worth it first because this chip I couldn't find it anywhere and adapter on the left side the you can see that there is a blown capacitor 2 on the top side so overall the design is simple and when it works the output voltage is stable and the waveform is okay but overall I don't think this kind of adapter is worth rep repairing I will now show you another uh, adapter and we will see if we can repair it and if it is worth repairing Here is another uh, adapter. Just by looking at the board, you can see there are a lot more components compared to the previous one. Here you can see there is a optocobbler. Found this capacitor, loose capacitor, as you can see. You can see here. 
the circuit board or the traces were also damaged solder it properly as you can see the now the output is showing 12 volts in this adapter the only only fault was the loose connections on uh, one capacitor if you have a adapter and you are wondering whether it is worth repairing or not then well it might be because sometimes you all you have to do is do a small repair like the one I just showed you if you like this video uh, please consider subscribing uh, to my channel and also click on the like button thank you